All right, we're threading a precision bolt here. What I've done to set the tap straight was drive it up against. I'm using a crescent wrench. This is one of the most precision methods I've come across for doing. Okay, oh, I like to keep this stiff. It kind of keeps things going right. This is a precision bolt, and it has to be heat treated. It's a starter bolt. You want to get a bright red, almost orange color just to be safe. And then I like to set it in hot sand. Vermiculite works better, but I don't have any. I just, I kind of feel like maybe this might cool it down slower than air. This will soften the metal. All right, so now that it's soft, we would machine it. We would then heat it back up to that red hot temperature again and quench the whole piece. Then we do the tempering. We're going for a gold color on this. We're gonna pretend that it's machined. Oops, I overdid it. Dang it. So that blue section got to about 500 degrees, 600 degrees, I'm sorry. And as you move down, you can tell by the color, this brown is only about 400 degrees. Some people like to do a quench after they've tempered the metal. I don't think you should do that. I don't think it's necessary. I see a lot of people doing it. But I've noticed the people that you see doing it appear to be novices who have watched a couple of YouTube videos and are now trying to masquerade as an expert. And there's a lot of that going on these days. It makes it harder for us who are actually trying to do something right. Um, I've heard people say quenching a tempered piece can cause an issue. I've heard people saying it doesn't matter. I've heard both sides, so it's very murky water. I would assume based on the nature of things that you do not need to quench a tempered piece. Okay, so let's see if we can get this thing off here now. Come back out. That looks great. I should just turn it on reverse. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do that. We're just going to hit reverse. I ain't got all day here. Had a little wobble there for a second, but then it straightened out. I got a EDM to head off of a bolt here. I probably should have added some water. See if it'll be faster. It's really going nuts now. It's a nice bolt head to work with. Then we're going to weld it to the bolt that we made here and go from there. All right, so I had to make two of those bolts. It was an emergency job. It was about two o'clock in the morning. It's a guy on a Harley. I had uh, been driving around the freaking country all day looking for this particular bolt. The color of the oxidation on the surface of the metal represents the temperature that it achieved. A nice gold bronze color is gonna give you a good hard spring like chisel-y metal. I take that back. I think chisels... Right on, brother. I think chisels are... Blue, you want to get them blue. That's about 550 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what we did. We heat treated these bolts. Um, I forgot to take video of it, but we ended up taking one of these bolts that was made out of that black metal. And I machined the threads off of it and converted it to a 10, 30 seconds um, thread. And this was the exact bolt that he, meted, that he needed. So we made one, 
and then we modified one that he had that was simply the wrong thread. So we did two different operations there at about two, three o'clock in the morning. So we got him down the road though. 